voila, full body tracking plus VR chat and tracking on PC VR version. Like this. That's how you move, like a joystick. Turn it around, turn. Turn left and right to turn. This is how you use hand tracking on the new VR chat update. So first you want to make sure your virtual desktop is updated. Oh, check the version. Make sure it's 1.32.13 and beyond. You can check for check for updates here. Make sure it's the latest update. Make sure on your quest. So make sure virtual desktop is also updated. Go here, settings. Make sure you're in the latest version, 1.32.13. So once virtual desktop is updated, make sure that VR chat is updated to the latest version. So you can see here it just released 2024.3.1. That's the latest version. So make sure you're updated. You can go to you can check by clicking on settings, properties, updates, and make sure it's always updated. So once you're fully updated, yeah, open your virtual desktop menu, go to streaming, and then make sure forward tracking data to PC is on. So click this. Yes. Don't click either of these two if you don't know what you're doing. If you want full body tracking, then you can turn on emulate Steam VR Vibe trackers. But for this demonstration, I'm going to turn it off for now. And under MetaQuest settings, so under MetaQuest settings, go to settings, movement tracking, make sure hand and body tracking is turned on. And here you can choose how you want to switch to hand and hand tracking. You can do it automatically or you can double tap the controllers, which is what I, what I like to do. So you can decide how you want to turn on hand tracking, or you can also go to the menu here and turn on hand tracking using this. Okay, so let's launch VR chat. So there's one thing you need to check. Go to your desktop, right click on Steam VR, press settings, and go to startup and shutdown and manage add-ons. So make sure virtual so make sure virtual desktop stream request is the only thing that's on. Anything else on will probably interfere with it, so keep it off for now. Only leave this on. And you're good here. Go back to VR chat. Okay, so when you're in VR chat, switch to hand tracking. So for me, I double tap my controllers to switch. Now I'm in hand tracking mode, as you can see. You can see that your hands are now fully tracked. You see that there are blue dots on my fingers here. So those, when you combine it with your thumb, do different actions. So I'll bring up the VR chat menu like this. So that's to bring up the VR chat menu. So here, let's go to settings and bring it to advanced mode. So to select, pinch your fingers together like this to select. So select. Advanced settings, go to controls. So make sure finger tracking exclusive mode is on. Make sure avatar has used finger tracking. So here you can see the settings for your hands. Each finger does a different setting. I'll close this for now, we can go back to this later. So for example, to move, it'll be your left hand, middle finger, plus thumb. So you bring it together like this. So to move, you drop your middle finger plus your thumb together like this. That's how you move, like a joystick. Turn it around. And then to turn, you take your right hand with the middle finger and the thumb. You go like this. Turn. Pull left and right to turn. And then to jump, you use your right hand plus your ring finger. <laughs> so you tap your fourth finger and your thumb together like this to jump. And then you tap your fourth finger on your left hand together like this to mute. Hold it or unmute yourself. So the pinky finger on your right hand is to block. And the pinky finger on your left hand is to turn off all hand actions. So it's a bit finicky, it doesn't work sometimes. Turn off all hand actions. So the pinky finger and your left hand is to turn off all hand actions. 
So now finger tracking gestures are locked. So you can't do anything. You can't move around. The only thing you can do is bring up the menu. You can turn it off, you just hold it back together again like this. Great. So the reason there's no right hand index finger button because this brings up the quest menu. Okay, one more thing. Let's say I pick an avatar with a weird hand. Okay, let's say I pick an avatar with a weird hand and you have three fingers here, right? So how does it... And it look, and you want it to be uniform across all your avatars. You bring up the menu. You go to settings. Advance. And then you press accurate hand tracking or finger tracking under controls. So every avatar you have now will use the same hand, which is this gray one. So this will stay across all your avatars. And you see in the, in the mirror, people will see you have the proper hand. But in your real hand, you will see this gray default hand. So let's say I change your avatars. See, my hands are still the same across all the avatars. It's still a gray hand. One more try. It's still a gray hand across all the avatars. Under advanced settings, you can customize anything you like here. It's fully customizable, but you can just use the recommended settings if you don't know what you want to adjust. So I, I recommend using the recommended settings. Whatever you do, don't turn on index controllers. But if you turn on emulate Steam VR Vibe trackers, you can do the full body tracking or inside out full body tracking in VR chat. So if everything is on, all you need is your quest and no trackers. And you bring up the menu. And you can press calibrate FBT here. Yes. So you can see now that we have the inside out body tracking markers. And I'm can gonna fit where my legs are in real life and my hands with these balls here. Make sure they align to your avatar like that and then just press the trigger and you are calibrated full body now I'm bending in real life voila full body tracking plus VR chat hand tracking on PC VR version <laughs>